Hey there, this is Chris Callop with 123 Muse. Now, Dan's done a great job at showing us how to encode and get our video and audio ready, but now it's time to put it into Muse. And in this first tutorial, let's take a look at how we can put background video onto our page. First, let's grab a background widget. We're going to use the 123 Muse background video widget and just drag it onto the page. Then we're going to place it where we want it. So we've switched off the headers and footers on this page. And you notice there's two parts to this. There's the background video here, and then there's this little button. Now, the little button helps us because it stops and plays the video. So that's a very useful accessibility feature. So let's go ahead and preview this as it is. And we can see that our video is playing straight away. This is because if we jump into our settings here, we have the ability to either use a remote URL or upload a file. And by default, we're using the remote URL so that we can test the video straight away. So these are coming in from a remote uh, address and um, from the Sublime Video Service uh, current. But if we switched over to the upload file, we can see here that we can upload our own files. So we're going to switch over to that for now. So first of all, we want to choose a fallback image. Now you can see that this is the SVG that's sitting in the background here. Let's choose um, a appropriate image. So in our video here, we're going to use the Big Buck Bunny sample, which is a really useful uh, sample video, um, free to, to use, which is great for testing things out. And with the button here, we're just going to pin it at the bottom here. And uh, let's carry on with adding our video content. So add file. Let's add the MP4 file. Now notice how the widget as well only lets you select the appropriate file, so you can't make any mistakes there. So now we've loaded up our video files and our fallback image. That's essential for when this video sits on um, a device, then the video won't auto play because iOS devices especially stop auto playing from happening so that you don't use up bandwidth if you're on a network where you're paying for the bandwidth. Um, bit of an annoying situation that, but that's the way it is. So the fallback image is very useful. So we've got our videos in here. Now, what about this icon? Now, when this uh, video plays, this will inject the icon into this button and you can modify this button because this is just a normal Adobe Muse state button. You can see that you can change the states there. So that's uh, really useful that it's just a Muse button. Let's add a graphic here. So in our downloads, we have, if we go back to our download too. So this is the downloads mega pack that comes with this month's edition. And we're going into the sample audio and video and we've just looked at the video, now we'll choose some icons. So we're going to choose the play white button and let's choose the pause or stop button. There we go. Let's use those two. And let's preview our video now. So we've got this big background image here, the video is playing and we can see that we can stop the video and the button changes to a play button and then we can play the video. And notice how it also fades out just slightly, so that brings your content in the foreground um, into focus as well. So that's it for background video, so it's very straightforward. Uh, if we wanted to add some content, let's go ahead and add some content over the top here. So I should have some, I've got some content here that we can just drag on the top. Now this wouldn't be great because we've already got some uh, content in the background there. So it's important that your content is high contrast. So let's put a background fill on that and let's knock it back a little bit. Here we go. And then let's just put some nice rounded corners. Make sure that's sitting in the middle. There we go. And let's preview that again. That's great. Now let's just move this up a bit. There we go. And finally, let's preview it in the browser. Now, the reason why we're going to preview this in the browser now is so that when it loads up, we can see that the video is playing. We can resize the browser. The video continues to play. Our button stays in place and everything works. So that's background video in Muse. As you can see, very easy. Thanks for watching.